This cash flow of 2300 bucks a month looks good to me. Everybody, welcome to the 17th episode of Coffee with Chuck. Um, today is August 28th, 2020. Thank you all for tuning in. Before we get started, I wanted to shout out again my buyers, uh, Phyllis and Ralph. They hooked me up with uh, Charles Akova team logo mug. Appreciate you, you guys are so wonderful. Um, thank you for supporting me there. Um, my video last week uh, was about uh, generational wealth, but I wanted to show what would happen in one generation or in, in this case, like my lifetime or your lifetime or whatever. But um, that would consist of real estate investing. So I know there's a lot of benefits to real estate investing, but I wanted to go over three main concepts, um, leverage, cash flow, and appreciation. So those are the three things that I wanted to go over today, um, just with uh, a couple examples that I have uh, here. So right now, this is 2020. And here's me wanting to buy this house. So, this home um, is, they're asking for about $150,000. And I'm gonna put 20% down. This is leverage, because I don't have that whole $150,000, so I'm gonna put 20% down, which equals to about $30,000 in cash. This would leave me with a $120,000 loan, and that would estimate about $1,300 a month. That $1,300 a month of expenses would include um, principal, interest, taxes, insurance, possibly homeowners, insur uh, homeowners association fees, um, and depending on how you want to look at your rentals, this, would in this could possibly also include capital expenditures, management, and vacancy. So what I would do, since it's $1,300 a month, I would find a family that would pay, um, let's say, $1,500 a month. I like my little family there. Um, so since they're paying me $1,500 a month and my cash is $1,300 a month, my cash flow would be $200 per month. $200 a month nothing too exciting right but let's just say this home has been rented out for the next this same home has been rented out for the next 30 years um, pretty consistently how would it how would it look in the year 2050 30 years from you know this year so let's let's see how that would take a look Here's me, I, oops, here's my little cane because it's, it's um, 30 years from now. <laughs> so this is the same home, all right? It was worth $150,000 before, right? Now, let's say that the home appreciated to 300,000. That's pretty good, right? The loan of $120,000 is now paid off, so this is no more loan, which means that my monthly expenses are probably super low um, because there's no principal interest left on the home. The only things that you're probably taking care of for sure are taxes and insurance. So let's, let's put a dollar amount to that. Let's say $700 a month for taxes and insurance, right? For your expenses now. The rents would also appreciate too. So the rents, let's say, are now $3,000 a month. Now, do you see the difference between this 3,000 to 7,000? This 3,000 is still being rented out to another family or somebody, you know, um, somebody that needs this kind of home in the area. But don't you think that this 20, $300 in cash flow per month is more exciting than the $200 that you're getting 
um, 30 years ago. And that $2,300 is coming back to me um, per month. So now I just want to go over the main points of uh, the benefits for this. So we went from $150,000, $150,000 um, that, we, that we bought to 300K. That's the appreciation. There's also appreciation from the $1,500 a month that you got from rents to $3,000 in rents. That's also appreciation. The leverage, you only had to put $30,000 down for this whole property. And you just had to be patient and wait the 30 years to make that happen. This cash flow of $2,300 a month looks good to me. And just remember that this is only one property. This is only one. Now back to my point from the last from the last video. Um, this this is how what happens if I could pass this one property down to the next generation, and they are able to have that twenty three hundred dollars every month coming in, and that three hundred thousand dollars in equity uh, to borrow from from this home don't you think that they're starting ahead or what people may consider ahead that's just one place that I could do in my lifetime just a thought just a concept take it as you please but you know like I said I'm probably gonna do this on the next uh, property I buy so thank you all for tuning in appreciate you guys listening you all have a great rest of your Friday an even greater weekend, and I will see you next week. Cheers.